This is the Onia wireless microphone. It's designed specifically for devices containing a USB-C port, like this phone. At the time of recording this video, this wireless microphone only costs a bargain of $12.99 plus tax on Amazon. And if you have Amazon Prime, then you get free shipping. So stick around to listen to how this microphone actually sounds. So what was my reason for getting this microphone? I work in the film and entertainment industry as a production sound mixer and boom operator. My side gig is YouTube, and I've been making professional YouTube videos for about four years now. But they weren't always quality videos. One of my models in the industry is no matter what kind of video you're making, always make sure you have quality audio. No excuses. Anyone can forgive you for not having a pretty picture. But if they hear distorted, muffled, or just terrible sounding audio, it's a deal breaker. So why did I get this microphone? Well, I was looking for a wireless lavalier microphone that was affordable, but yet not too cheap. And by too cheap, I mean, if you find something that's like 10 or $11 on Amazon, it's not going to be quality. <laughs> I was looking for something that could connect to my phone in a quick and easy way. And then when I read through the Amazon reviews, it seemed that almost everybody who had purchased this microphone was praising it. I mean, based on the pictures, the design looks simple and easy to work with. So I figured, why not take a chance on it? My primary purposes for this microphone is to use it for Patreon, my social media, and any last minute videos I wanna make on the fly. Because there's no way I'm gonna trust my camera phone's internal mic. I mean, it doesn't sound bad, but I mean, there could always be improvements. So right now, you're listening to this lab microphone in my living room. So now I'm going to test this microphone by talking to you in different environments around my house and seeing how the microphone picks up the audio depending on my environment. Now, now the reason I'm doing this is because each environment the microphone is going to sound different. It's just like when you're singing in the shower. When you sing in the shower, your voice sounds amazing and you feel like you can be an American Idol. But then the moment you start singing out in public or with friends or maybe at karaoke, you're thinking, maybe not so much. So let's see what this microphone can do. I'm now in my kitchen next to my fridge, pretty close to my dishwasher, but it's not running. This is what the wireless microphone sounds like inside my kitchen, which I can hear a lot of reverb in the room. I wonder what the microphone is picking up. To sit in solemn silence on a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. So right now, I am sitting right next to our dryer. And tell me, do you hear a little bit of the dryer as I'm speaking into you wearing this microphone, or does my voice sound still pretty clear? And now I am in my bathroom where the acoustics are much greater than any other room of the house. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. Alrighty, and now I'm in the closet. But seriously, this is what the microphone sounds like inside a walk-in closet filled with a bunch of stuff. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. And I am now in my dining room. This is what the wireless microphone sounds like in my dining room. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. I am now in my hallway where the walls are much tighter, so the audio should sound a little different compared to what you were hearing in the kitchen or in the dining room. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. And now I'm recording audio outside in my backyard. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. And now I'm sitting on my toilet, <laughs> but believe me, the audio sounds very different compared to the front of my bathroom. To sit in solemn silence on a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. Okay, and now I'm just completely out in the open. There is nothing surrounding me but the sky above me. This is what the wireless microphone sounds like outside with nothing to absorb the audio waves. Okay, I'm now going to go into my car in this terrible heat of Arizona, but I'm doing it for the video because that's how much I love you guys. So you're getting some wind too. Maybe you can pick up on that. I don't know how this microphone is taking it, but I'm gonna get inside my car and let's do another audio test in there. So I'm currently in my car. It is super freaking hot in here. And in about, if I don't finish this video in about two minutes, I'm gonna be sweating my ass off. But this is what the wireless microphone sounds like inside a vehicle without the engine actually on. Technically, I wouldn't do this just because I don't want the AC running. And if the AC runs, then that's definitely gonna infect your audio in some way, shape or form. But yeah, let's just take in this amazing environment and take in the hot sweat that is dripping from my face right now. You probably can't see it as well, but it's there.
it's at least developing. And if you haven't liked this video already, please do so. Because I mean, the amount of suffering I'm going through right now, it's all for you guys. Alrighty, I'm leaving that car. I could feel the wind on my face and arms and it just feels amazing. So I'm glad that's over with, back into the house. <laughs> so overall, I am very impressed with the quality of this microphone. Okay. So I want to be real with you guys because I was just sitting on this microphone's audio quality. I was just really making sure I enjoyed it or if I didn't. And the truth comes down to this audio sounds best when you're outside. I have not used this microphone for any Patreon or social media videos and I can't use it for guitar playing videos because the audio just sounds a little phasey. Hey, so And as you heard in my car, the audio did not sound as best as it could be. And so my feeling is if I were to put an EQ filter on this lavalier mic, then the audio may or may not sound better. EQ filter on this lavalier mic, then the audio may or may not sound better. But I bought this microphone with the intention that it was going to increase the quality of my videos, which it most certainly is going to do that if I'm filming outside. If you're looking for a really cheap and affordable option and you can't afford like a really great quality microphone and you just wanna make content now and just get it out there, then I would suggest investing into this microphone and there will be a link down in my video description. But if you're looking to make super good quality videos where like the audio is superior, your voice sounds crystal clear, this is not the microphone to buy. But if you are looking for a great sounding lab mic, I have a video on my Deity lab mic system. In that video, I go over how I use the microphone system and record with my external audio device. Now that's just another level of audio that goes into content creating that I'm not gonna cover in this video. But yeah, because I'm a real dude and I care about you guys and I want you to have the best sounding audio possible, I'm not gonna fake this and tell you guys this is the best microphone to buy because in my opinion, it really isn't. But if you're looking for a cheap, affordable microphone to just get the job done for quick easy shoots outdoors then i would highly suggest investing into this thing i hope this video provided you with value thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon